So in this video, I wanted to talk about everything you need to know about the Rotring 700 series. This was a line of pens and pencils that was sold first in the early 1990s, I'm not sure exactly when, and it was sold until Rotring was sold to a company called Sanford in 1998. I believe they promptly canceled the line. I have the uh, Rotring 700 in a ballpoint, a rollerball, and a fountain pen. It's also sold, it was also sold in a mechanical pencil that I don't have. It's uh, highly sought after by collectors and quite expensive, but the ballpoint is almost identical to the mechanical pencil. So we'll use that as the stand in. So let's talk a little bit about the design. The Rotring 700 series is a very long, thin, extended pencil. I would say it's sort of like a peak 90s design, but also kind of 80s inflected if you want to use that kind of design generalizations. To me, it feels very 80s, but I know a lot of people that very much consider it to be a 90s design. It is a long pen and pencil. This is a half inch marking, so it's one, two, three, four, five and a half inches capped. If you look at it next to something very standard like a uniball, we'll see it's about the same length, but look at the thickness of this uh, Vision Elite versus the Rotring 700. This is a very skinny pen or pencil that gives it a very extended and long look to it. The uh, If you are interested in collecting these, and uh, I'll point out some things about them because as far as Rotrings go, I don't think the 700 series has aged very well. You'll see that the black metal exterior has faded on a lot of them. And it fades from uh, mainly from use, I would say. The ballpoint, I would say, is in the best condition. I bought this one new old stock, so really, really good condition. And you can see it's a truer black than these ones that are looking uh, more of a charcoal, almost a brownish color, which they've faded over time. Maybe they were stored poorly. Maybe they were used a lot. Maybe they were used once by someone with something on their hands. It's, it's hard to say. So let's get into the specifics. They're all metal. There's no plastic on these pens aside from the red ring. It's, and there's always a red ring. It's Roach Ring. The company is something called Roach Ring uh, because they have that red ring. All metal. There is a, a slight grip here, which you could see here. Very slight. It's really just uh, a little bit of the metal was sort of uh, maybe etched away. Not Probably not etched away. It was probably just machined away. Some chrome highlights. Here we say it, you see it says Rotring with the O logo on it, 700, that's the series, and Germany. The clip on the 700 series is very unique. It's an extended clip with a ball at the end, sort of like Pilot does. And this piece is square and it tapers down to being round, so very complex shape there. There's another larger square here. Uh, one piece around, very machine age, and then a little square on top, kind of like a cufflink or something like that. This piece extends it off, and it meets this in a right angle. This is all one piece. So this was cast, I guess. It wasn't machined, so I don't know exactly what it was, but it seems to have been cast from one piece, which seems, uh, to me, overly complex and quite ornate, but very interesting. Metal button on these, nice click. It's also a metal button on the mechanical pencil. It looks very much like this. There you see the red ring. This one has aged very well. Plastic, no cracks. Sometimes they do crack over time just because the plastic doesn't age as well as the metal. And there's that metal up close. It is a uh, slightly brushed satin finish. From the uh, online, just looking at pictures, it looks just like it's a pure gloss, and I can tell you it's it's not that simple. It has a, uh, a little bit of a sort of horizontal brush to it. it. It is a pretty striking pencil or pen up close, which it's heavier than it looks, it's thinner than it looks, and it uh, has a nicer build quality than you would probably expect. It is, I will say, very thin. Uh, it just, it's a little bit hard to get used to if you want to use these for writing. 
you want to use them for collecting, sure. Just get something that looks great and you're good to go. If you want to use them for writing, I think most people will be surprised about how skinny they are. That is definitely the most accentuated on the pen and pencil where it's very, very skinny and uh, it's very back weighted, which there's all this metal hardware here and just a skinny elongated front end. Let's move on to the rollerball. You can see that same material here, that sort of machined black has, again, it's really hard to pick up the true texture of this, but you could probably see now that it's not a pure gloss. There is a little bit of texture there and it is all metal. The back has some chrome, but very simple end piece there. The grip looks plastic. And I think that is one of the things that probably dissuades collectors from getting too involved in these. This looks to be a plastic grip or a rubber grip possibly, but it is that same sort of metal with little pieces machined out of it. And nice chrome front piece. I think this is very classy. Uh, if you open it up, you could see the rollerball uses a full European style rollerball refill. So you could use a uh, this Schmidt Safety Ceramic Roller 5888. You could also use a Schmidt 888 or a Waterman or a Rotring. Any standard European style rollerball refill will work. And there's no spring in here. It's just an exact fit. So pretty cool. You can see this one is a little beat up. I should probably clean it up. And there's some definitely signs of age and wear on the grip. These have not aged that well, generally speaking. I don't think it was ever as popular a pen as the 600 or some of the other road rings from that age that are more collectible, like the 900. And they definitely did not age as well. The 900s aged amazingly well because they are made of materials that haven't aged poorly. You know, they're made of a chrome or a uh, brushed aluminum, I guess a satin aluminum that have aged incredibly well, whereas this black material has just faded over time. The grip has not really faded so much, but uh, it's just a less attractive design. The worst fading that we've seen is generally on the grip area of the ballpoint and the uh, mechanical pencil where you have that black paint and it's always gripped. The, uh, it does post, has a nice little posting action, but now you're looking at a very long writing device. So this is one, two, three, four, five, over six inches. Here is that Elite posted. Again, so you're longer than that. And this is a good deal heavier and very much back weighted. It was the cap is where all the weight is on this piece. Cap here, quite nice. Very classy, although I could see how people would just, just strongly dislike the design. Say like, hey, look, yeah, is it cool? Is it well-made? Sure. But it's just not for me. And I think that is definitely the case with the Rotring 700 series. It's just not a design that has aged as well. It doesn't seem as relevant to uh, 2020 or 2021 as the uh, some of the newer designs like the Rotring 600 or the 900. One of the problems with these capped pens is that the snap action of the cap is a friction fit. You know, if you have a screw on pen, it will always screw on pretty well. And you can screw it on a million times and screw it off. And it usually will not wear a snap on action like this. Every time you snap it on, it wears the pen, the little catch in here out a little bit. So this one is in good shape, which means it snaps on and off audibly. You could feel a good click and there's no wiggle to it. A lot of them, even though the pen looks like it might be in good condition, you will have noticeable wiggle here. So watch this. I will hold this very steady. And you could see that this roller, this uh, fountain pen has some wiggle there. That is obviously a flaw with the pen. But uh, from a visual inspection, if you want to buy one of these on eBay or something like that, uh, the pen looks to be in, in very good condition, or at least good condition. The rollerball I have here, no wiggle at all. It's rock solid, which means the cap goes on very nicely, and it doesn't wiggle when it's on. So let's get into that fountain pen. Again, so very much wiggle. The uh, pen comes off, the cap comes off smoothly, but there's not that sort of firm click you'd like to hear. So kind of more of a mush. This one has more fading to it. You can see that black color 
is a good deal lighter than on the new old stock ballpoint. Here's it next to a true black, so you could really see it's more of a, almost more of an olive. The fountain pen looks pretty much identical to the rollerball. I don't think there's any quality on the fountain pen that differentiates it from the rollerball, which again is, I would say, a little bit of a design flaw. A lot of pens have a little marking, so if you were to grab one, you would know you were grabbing the fountain pen or the rollerball. Nothing here. The, uh, this is the same Rotring 700 Germany, uh, no indicator. Here you can see an example of where the cap going on and off has started to fade the, uh, whatever this is, it's maybe it's, I don't think it's paint. I would say it's probably anodized, but the friction from putting that cap on and off has started to wear out the black anodization or paint or what have you from the grip a uh, pretty noticeable flaw uh, it'll make it easier to purchase if you want one of these just for writing but uh, if you are trying to collect these uh, you'll see a lot of fountain pens and roller balls with this fading here which is pretty disappointing grip is quite small not only is it narrow it's maybe like i don't have my measurements in front of me you can check out unsharpen.com and see if i have them there i think it's maybe around nine millimeters it's very skinny and the grip is under an inch so small grip the pen despite being a fairly expensive pen at the time used rotring's standard uh stainless steel nib so uh you cannot buy one of these with a uh with a gold 14k nib the way you could have the rotring 600 series so if this had had a gold nib, I would say it would have been probably more of a hit with collectors, but Rotring just simply didn't sell the 700, 900s with a gold nib. The nib is very stiff. It's very utilitarian. Uh, it's fine. It writes. Uh, this one, I think this one dried out. I have not been using this one lately. My latest acquisition was that rollerball, and I've been using that more often. The nib, nib is very stiff and uh, fine, but not in any way notable. It writes like a much cheaper pen. In fact, like a Rotring Esprit or uh, one of those, it's no, not really any different. Nib is skinny and extended, kind of ugly on the underside, and I would say not really much better looking on the, on the top. The nib, I believe, is sold in an extra fine, fine, medium, and broad, which would be pretty standard for Rotring. All this fitting up here is, I would say, a little bit ugly and a little bit utilitarian. The outside of the pen is very, very highly designed, but the uh, rest of the pen, uh, not very attractive. This one is a little bit older, and you see it's doing a little bit of leaking, which uh, I don't think is a common issue with these, but has come up. You know, anything can come up with a 20-plus-year-old pen as they start to wear. Open it up. We can see a lot of threading. Yeah, this thing is, is done for. Uh, this is all metal in here and it uses a standard international cartridge. In this case, a standard international short cartridge. I don't have another one there. So Rotring used, used standard international short cartridges generally on all their pins. I believe this one could accommodate a long if you want, but they're less common. This pen also posts and it posts a little bit of a click action if you want. But again, then you have a long and very back-heavy writing utensil. I don't think there's too much left to say about the ballpoint. Skinny, long, etched grip, nice click, and it uses a standard Parker-style G2 refill. In this case, I have a Rotring here. This is not an original Rotring, but I did keep a Rotring ballpoint refill in there. And any Rotring uh, refill, or sorry, any standard Parker, st Parker G2 style refill will work. Has a spring in there just to keep everything together. Spring is nothing special, so if you lose it, it's not a problem. This pen, you could see, is in really immaculate condition. Rotring logo looks great. The black is a very true black. And then the interior chrome is absolutely spotless, which is a good indicator of how well the pen was maintained and how much it was used. If you look at some of these other ones where it saw 
the pens clearly saw a lot of use. You start seeing more wear in here, lighter coloring, and uh, usually there is some buildup from grime and gunk. That's not anything terrible. It's not a disaster, but it means it was probably in someone's pocket or in someone's bag or something like that. And you can see here, same discoloration, clearly some buildup in there that was clearly sitting in a bad case or in a pocket or in a drawer or something like that. This one was probably used and uh, maybe not really taken care of, but it's hard to say. Like you could use something and take care of it, but after 15 years or something like that, it's going to look like it has some miles on it. Whereas the only other way to avoid that is with a new old stock unit. Even with something that's really maintained very well, you'll see the uh, there are some markings on this one. That's just because this black coating on the 700 just didn't really stand up that well over time. And it took gets a little bit scratched up. And that's really just impossible to avoid. The uh, mechanical pencil, which I've used a few times, but I don't currently own, looks a lot like this. It has a little uh, mechanical pencil pipe sneaking through. The pipe is not retractable, so you can see the pipe. And I believe it's sold in 0.5 and 0.7 millimeters. Looks basically identical to this. The uh, hardware on the inside is uh, a mixture of metal and plastic. So it's not a particularly incredible interior to it. So I think that should cover pretty much everything about the Rotring 700 series. Uh, they're quite nice. Very interesting for collectors. Uh, not very fun to write with. I wouldn't recommend buying these to, to, to use as writing utensils. They're just, they're too skinny. People don't really buy super skinny pens like this anymore. This is like just a bygone errors pen. And I think that's what makes it interesting and makes it valuable to collectors, but not valuable to people that just want to buy pens from the nineties because they were made better than the pens of today. So if you want to get into collecting road rings, I'd say look at the 900 series or maybe some of the old 600s uh, or even just get a new 600. Make believe it's an old one and you'll get a lot of bang for your buck that way. 700 series is really quirky and interesting, but generally pretty rare and people are overpaying. I guess people like me are overpaying for them just to get uh, a taste of very classic road train. And that pretty much covers it. Thanks for watching and please. Leave any comments below.